members of the INEC Press Corps, ladies and gentlemen. You may recall that the current commission was inaugurated in three batches. The chairman and five commissioners were sworn in on 9th November 2015, followed by another six commissioners on 7th December 2016, and one more commissioner on 21st July 2018. The commission is a constitutional body whose members are appointed for five years, which may be renewed for a second and final term. This means that my tenure and that of the first set of five commissioners ends today. As you are already aware, the renewal of my tenure as chairman of the commission has been announced, subject to confirmation by the Senate. Our work as election managers requires us to enforce the law, regulations, and guidelines. In doing so, we must demonstrate strict respect for and compliance with the Constitution of Nigeria and subsidiary laws. Consequently, it will be inappropriate for me to remain in office beyond today, 9th November 2020, without confirmation by the Senate and swearing to another oath of office as provided by law. Pending the conclusion of the statutory process, the remaining national commissioners have resolved that Air Vice Marshal Ahmed Muazu retired will oversee the affairs of the commission. It is therefore my pleasure to hand over to him in the interim. We have worked as a team for the last four years. Therefore, there is nothing new to any one of them. I wish to express my appreciation for the support of the commission members, the resident electoral commissioners, the secretary to the commission, the director general of the electoral institute, directors, members of the technical team, heads of the various security agencies deployed to INEC, and all staff of the commission nationwide. I look forward working with you again and hopefully shortly. I thank you all and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. tradition of the chairman that, that whenever he is traveling on official assignments outside the country, a national commissioner was assigned to act in his temporary absence. Uh, in this way, all national commissioners have at one point or another acted in the absence of the chairman. We therefore should see the present arrangements in this light and nothing more. I want to assure you all that I will handle the affairs, the routine affairs of the Commission uh, with all due diligence. And I thank you very much once more, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.